Grizzle Man, I mean, Kawhi Leonard was just uh, on another planet today. He was, and like you said, I mean, possibly a, a career game, probably mm. the best game he's ever played. He went for 29 points on 10 of 13 shooting, four rebounds, two assists, two steals, and two blocks. Mm. I mean, he was everywhere. I am um, following game two, and I, you know, I was writing some things for the site, downtownball.net, and I was uh, one of the things I was thinking, I didn't actually put it down. One mm. of the things I was thinking of, the question that I was going to ask was, who's going to step up first at, in this series? Is it going to be Kawhi Leonard, or is it going to be Mario Chalmers? Two guys who are fairly kind of key for their team who hadn't sort of got rolling so far in the playoffs. Kawhi Leonard answered that question today. He was super aggressive early on, Grizzle Man. And, um, you know, where, where did this come from? Well, I think a lot of it came from a, a, a talk that Pop had with Kawhi leading into this game. Doris Berker, she actually asked Pop, what uh you know what was in that conversation you know what were you talking about that inspired Kawhi to come out and play that's you know that sort of level and you know which pop responded in his in his usual uh it's all in the, you know it's a, it's a family issue you know i'm not going to give you any of that yes, sort of stuff family but, business. but what what would you think Tizzle? what do you think pop uh pop was was banging on about well um he was clearly <laughs> telling him to be you know more aggressive we need you to be mm. more aggressive and and you could you could just sense that from the way he came out this morning you know in this morning's game or this morning our time um, but uh, we, we got a little bit of audio about what, what Pop talking about Kawhi after the game. Well, we just wanted to be who he's been the whole year, you know, in the regular season and in the playoffs. And I think the foul situations the first two games really, uh, he overreacted to them and became very uh, cautious. And he doesn't play like that. He's got to be real active at both ends. And so he, he figured it out. And you could kind of get that feeling from watching Kawhi in the first couple of games where he was a little hesitant. Mm -hmm. A couple of times he was open on the perimeter and he refused to pull the trigger and he'd sort of put it to the floor and wasn't really making a lot happen. And, and look, that wasn't an issue today. Yeah, and the reason for that is, the reason he gets so hesitant is because all the hype and all the talk around San Antonio on the Heat obtaining to him is around guarding LeBron. Mm. So he gets those three fouls early in the game and he's like, well, I'm letting my team down. My job... Is, you know, I'm here to stop LeBron. That's mm. what I'm supposed to be doing. Mm. And so you can really see how that could get into his psyche and then sort of pop pulling him aside and saying, do you know what? We need you on both ends of the floor. The way you can defuse LeBron is by attacking the rim, making mm -hmm. him play both ends. Mm. I mean, it, it just makes sense.